Hello, lads and lassies. Welcome to another TRT Q&A with me, Paolo Bricotta. Today's question comes from Lee Harris, and he says, Hello, Paolo. I started looking into TRT due to the symptoms I have. I've had Medicheck test results back and they are at 13. I'm guessing free testosterone. They didn't test for all testosterone. I guess seeing as 13 is about okay, they say. Should I not continue looking into this further? I was going to go to balance my hormones. Should I bother now? Okay, great question. Uh, this should be a pretty easy one because this is a common scenario that many guys uh, who suspect they have low testosterone find themselves in. Okay, so I'm going to put up the Nibido conversion chart on the screen here so that you can see where the normal levels are and where the sort of danger zone is for low testosterone. And if you look on that graphic, you'll see that 13 does fall into the danger zone. Now it may not be in the red zone, it's in the orange zone, and this does get tricky when diagnosing low testosterone, right? Some groups or some establishments, some organizations, some medical facilities want your levels to be right in the red before they even uh, consider diagnosing you with low testosterone and treating you. Some other uh, medical facilities will be a bit more liberal and base it on other things. So let's say that uh, you're at a level of 13 like you are, okay? And that is kind of like iffy, you know, it's on the borderline. I've had levels of 12 before, and usually what you'll find is that the public health providers like the NHS in the UK and sort of the equivalents that you have in Europe and the USA, they might say to you, no, 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 sorry, not low enough, we're not going to prescribe you TRT, right? Now, there may be exceptions, but generally what I found after chatting to lots of guys is that this is unlikely in a case of 13. Now, maybe, you can go be retested and you come back lower and maybe they'll consider it. But this is kind of a gray area and likely one that's going to have you in a battle for months and months, if not years on end, trying to get treatment, right? So what is your other option? As you detailed it here, it's with someone like Balance My Hormones. And the reason I like third party sort of medical faci facilitators like Balance My Hormones is because it's private. And what they do then is they base it uh, on the whole picture and not just some reading on a blood, uh, blood test result, right? So Balance My Hormones will look at the whole scenario, the whole picture. They will look at your symptoms. They will check how you feel. They will do a blood test uh, for you. But, you know, based on your situation and your initial consultation, they will do further tests. So they will look in sort of maybe at your total and your free testosterone. They'll look at your estradiol, your sex hormone binding globulin. They'll look at that whole sort of lab panel and your symptoms and how your symptoms are affecting you and then make a decision based on that. Now, because they're not state funded and they are a private facility and in essence, you'll be paying for your treatment, they are more open-minded and liberal in this area. So a lot of guys who find that they don't get treated by the public health, like the NHS, are more likely to get uh, treated with balance my hormones, as was the case in my, in my case too. So yeah, I think, I think it's worthwhile. And should you go to them, I, I'm gonna say this, Base it on how you feel. How are your symptoms, right? Do you find that you have symptoms of low testosterone that are very sort of strong or mild, right? Like let's say they're mild. You know, you feel on every now and you know on or offish every now and then. Um, it's kind of you can kind of manage it in that. Then try adjusting lifestyle factors first, right? Work on your diet. Work on your fitness and health. Maybe you know drink less and uh, and those types of other recreational activities and see how you respond. Do your sort of symptoms go away and you feel normal again? Great, then maybe you don't need treatment. But if you've tried all of those things, right, and you still feel like shit, and you're still feeling a lot of these symptoms of low testosterone, then I would suggest getting in touch with a third party provider like Balance My Hormones or anyone else, and then taking it from there because I would do that, and if I had those symptoms, and I did do that in this case, I got treatment as soon as possible. So. I hope that answers your question, Lee. Thank you for the question. And if you guys out there have any questions similar to this along the lines of low testosterone and testosterone replacement therapy, then just leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and I'll catch you next time, friends.